We're going to start uh, standing. So if you can come to the top of your mat, find four corners of your feet. Begin to press into your feet and find that foundation. Allowing the body to come to stillness. And already beginning to focus on your breath. Beginning to deepen the inhales and slow the exhales. Um, so if you would like to use an account to yourself, sometimes that works. Um, counting in on a four count, for example, slowly and quietly to yourself. Two, three, four, and then matching that on your exhale. Two, three, four. And I'd like you now to, if you're comfortable, close your eyes. We're going to do about five rounds of this deeper breathing concentrating on pressing into all four corners of your feet, lifting through the kneecaps and finding that firm foundation, bringing both hands to your heart center, closing your eyes. Feel free to take any movements to settle into this posture to gain more length in the spine, more lift in the legs. And on these next five rounds of breath, focus on breathing in, vitality, strength, energy for your day, and breathing out anything that doesn't serve, any um, impediments, tension, unhappiness, anything that is holding you back from joy and happiness in your day. So about four more rounds in, breathing in, breathing out, letting go. Three more, in. Drawing in that which serves. Exhaling everything out that we don't need. Two more. Exhale out. Final round, drawing to you vitality, peace, happiness, joy, in. And breathe out, let go of everything else. Flutter the eyes open, release the hands. If you have that strap handy, just have it nearby. I'm gonna start Warming up the upper body first from a standing position. You might notice uh, some of these motions will be for the spine and they'll be similar to the cat-cow motion that we take in, all, in tabletop. If that serves you better, feel free to do, take tabletop as an alternative or try it in the standing position. So taking the, the strap in your hands and starting with a small motion, breathe in and lift up. Open through the collarbones and begin to open through the shoulders. Just be gentle. Exhale, round down. Dropping the chin, bringing the shoulders forward, coming into that cat position. Inhale, stretch and lengthen. Maybe find a little more length this time. Maybe lift the chin, the chin just a little bit. Exhale, round forward. Inhale, lift, reach up, look up, maybe a little bit of a slight back bend on this round, looking up and following, exhale, folding forward. And then coming up and just checking out the arms and shoulders, how you're feeling. Taking the left hand up, draw the, allow the strap to fall behind, bring your right hand up the center of the spine and gently hold on to the strap. This may be plenty right here to open up through the um, armpit and the um, shoulder a little more, or just draw the hand down, gently drawing the left hand down the spine. And again, maybe a slight back bend as you exhale. Inhale, straighten, reverse the position of your hands.
lift and lengthen and then release inhale lift up and draw your hands up interlace the fingers press through your left foot exhale bend to the side really lengthen as much as bending to the side feel the stretch through the side body inhale up through center press through your right foot exhale begin to first lengthen up and then bend to the side inhale up exhale release and then just gently twist side to side letting the arms go beautiful release that now we're going to just warm the legs up a little bit so standing in mountain pose finding all four corners of your feet this involves a little bit of balancing as well so press into the left foot release the toes spread your toes out giving you maximum balance inhale the right leg up flex through the foot if you um if this uh, any of these balancing poses challenge you feel free to just place your hand on the wall or a chair inhale lift exhale begin to open the knee out to the side and then down just two more times just making a big circle opening up through the hip exhale down last time inhale up exhale around and down and then reverse inhaling up beautiful two more times and you might notice uh, as you begin to go through the circles of a greater range of motion that's great exhale down same right foot just gently lift forward and then tilt back just a little bit beautiful and then out to the side and down let's go to the other side shift the focus to the right foot find that firm foundation feel that energy that line of energy running from the sole of your foot all the way to the crown of the head inhale lift the left foot up flexing through and began circling through on this side starting smaller and then gradually increasing the range of motion one more time and then stillness and reverse to the other side two more again increasing the range of motion if that's possible for you and then pausing reaching the leg forward back and then out to the side and release come to the front of the mat and we'll do just um, a flow to come down to the mat standing on all four corners of your feet inhale lift up and reach up follow with your gaze exhale folding forward allowing the chest to come forward if you're feeling any tightness in the hamstrings bend the knees a lot and bring the hands closer to the floor to your shins allow the head to hang on your next breath reach the crown of the head forward to find that length exhale fold place your feet on either side of your hands and step back to a plank position reaching the crown of the head forward finding that that length along the edge of your spine and then exhale press back into a downward facing dog pedaling out your feet again bend in your knees if you're feeling any um, discomfort in the hamstrings coming into this gradually and uh, placing more emphasis on lengthening through the spine and pressing through your hands and shoulders on your next breath shift the body forward come through knees chest and chin or hug the elbows in and lower yourself to the mat we move the computer lower yourself to the mat and find yourself there bring your elbows under your arms Spread all ten fingers and press your fingers into the floor of the mat. Tuck the chin a little bit and think about lengthening through your spine as you press into the tops of your feet. 
Anchor yourself with the tops of your feet as you extend the crown, the crown away, lengthening through the spine. Take a big breath and then allow the chest to come through the arms as you gently pull the chest forward through your arms, any amount, further lengthening through the spine and coming into a, a bend in the, th the high spine, thoracic spine. Take two breaths here. On your next breath, allow the forehead to come forward, bring the hands under the, under the shoulders and press up into a downward facing dog, lifting the hips and pedaling out the feet. Allow the head to hang. Take a couple of breaths. On your next breath, come forward. Coming into a plank position. From here, come to your elbows. Lowering yourself down. And find that uh, your hips are lifted and you're pressing strongly into the elbows. This is um, the forearm plank. Um, that I've been trying to integrate into all the practice. I um, want you to focus for the first part of this on strengthening through the upper body, through the shoulders. As you press into the forearms, think about lifting um, through your shoulders, maintaining that strong core through the center, breathing into this, feel the strength of the arms and the hands, And now focus on the lower body. Think about the backs of the thighs lifting, pressing into those toes. If you want to try to um, improvise from here a little bit, you can go into a one-legged plank, pressing into the left and raising the right foot up and back. Breathing into that. Lower the right and go to the left. Feel free to come to your knees at any point. Stay with this about three more breaths. One more. And exhale, bring both knees to the mat, to the edge of the mat wide, and press back into a child's pose. Let go of any tension in the shoulders. Maybe gently rock side to side. Take two more breaths here. Good, fill up and let go. Now begin to expand, lift the body, curl the toes under and press back into a downward facing dog. Begin to pedal the feet out, press into your hands. Bring attention to the left side of the body, left leg. Inhale, reach the right leg up and back, extending back and up and feeling an engagement through your glute. Point and flex the toe. Now bend at the knee and open through the hips. Beautiful. Inhale, hips back to level. Exhale, press through your hands and step your foot between your hands. All 10 toes are facing the front. We're gonna come into a high lunge position. Inhaling, lifting the torso up. Bring the hands to the tops of the thighs. Think about this length from the, from the um, hips to the crown of the head. Find that strong orientation and now find the same amount of energy flowing through the back leg as the front. We tend to come forward into this front leg and really emphasize that. I want you to bring the torso back, bring the focus back to the back leg and press into your big toe mound. Now shift and bring the heel around and find your warrior one position. Bring the hips forward. Inhale, look up and reach the arms up as you look up towards your hands, if that's available to you and comfortable for your neck. Find the length through the side body, look up, reach up. 
Beautiful. Exhale, bring the hands back to the hips. Bring the toes back to the front and step the left foot next to the right foot. Beautiful. Take a nice um, moment here. Inhale, find that length. Exhale, step back with control and find your high lunge position on the, with the left leg forward and the right leg back. Take a moment and find your torso in the center of your legs. Focus on that back leg in particular, bringing the, the knee a little bit straighter and pressing into the back toe mound as you press also into the right, into the left, excuse me. Press equally into both legs. Find that maximum length through the sides of your body. As you inhale, lift the hands up. I'm sorry, <laughs> bring the hands down, shift the heel back so that you're in the, um, you have the, the foot position for warrior one, bring the hips forward, and now inhale, lift the hands up as you look up and reach up. Relax your shoulders. Continue to work with your breath, one more breath. Exhale, allow the hands to come down. This time reaching forward, framing the left foot, allow the right heel to come up and reach the left foot back towards the right foot. Both feet are together and you're in a high plank position. Press the hips up and come into a downward facing dog. Pedal the feet out. Allow the head to hang and be heavy. Inhale, lift the left foot back and long. Low through the ankle a little bit, rotating through. Now bend at the knee and open through the left hip. Bring your hips level with each other. Lift the left leg back and long. As you exhale, curl that leg in and step the left foot forward. Hands are alongside the foot. Rotate the right heel down. This time, pressing into the leg to lift. And open the hips to the side of your mat. Open to the side of the mat and inhale the arms up to warrior two. Rotate the shoulders back and the shoulder blades back and down to open. Press into both feet equally. Lift the collarbones, lift and open the chest. We're gonna move from here, inhaling as you lengthen and press through your front leg and straighten, lifting the hands and looking up. Exhale. Flow back down into warrior two and look out over the fingers. Inhale, lift and lengthen, looking up. Exhale, flow through and look forward through the middle finger on your left hand. Inhale, lift. Exhale, come back to your warrior two. Flip the palm and inhale, reach up, finding that maximum length, pressing Pressing your fingertips along the ceiling. Exhale, coming back and coming into a reverse warrior. Stay with the integrity of your legs. As you inhale, allow yourself to come forward. Forearm gently resting on the knee, across the knee, above the knee, and reach the other arm up alongside, bringing the bicep in line with your ear and looking up, finding a huge long line of energy from the tips of your fingers to the edge of your foot, back foot. Take two breaths. On your next breath, bring the hand back to the hip, reach the crown of the head up, carefully rotate the right heel in and step forward, right foot with the left. Big inhale and step back, Length, length, distance on the left side. I'm going to turn around so that you can see. Come into warrior two. Bring the hips open. Bending that front knee. Knee over your ankle. 
finding that uh, alignment, the back edge of your foot in line with uh, just a slight angle to the back of your, of your mat. Inhale, reach the arms up, settle the shoulder blades down and lift the chest. Look over your fingers, outstretched hand. Press into both feet as if you could tear the mat into two, into two pieces. Energizing through the outsides of your legs first, taking a breath, and then switching the focus uh, without moving your feet, drawing the feet towards each other and feel the insides of the legs engage and get, gain a little more height. One more time on the next breath, press to the outside edges of the feet and feel the glute engage in the back the outside edge of your, of your front leg engaging, press strongly. Now reverse, draw the feet together and find more height. Lift the, flip the front palm, lift up, reach as if you're going to reach to the ceiling, look up and then come back any amount opening as you reverse your warrior. Moving with your breath, bring the hands forward, gently place the forearm across the knee, and now rotate the torso up, inhale the left arm up, allow that left bicep to come by the ear, look up and now find that maximum length, really feel the press in the outside edge of your back foot, reaching the front arm forward, take two breaths here, rotate, through your torso. One more. Exhale, bring your hand to the outside hip. Inhale the torso up. Bring the left, the, the left heel up and the toes facing in the same direction as your right foot and, and step both feet together. Come to mountain pose. Inhale, reach up, step up, or right, look up. Exhale, fold. Lifting the hips and allowing the torso to drape, finding a slight bend in your knees if you need. Inhale, reach pound the head forward. Exhale, release your hands to the mat, frame your feet and step back to a high plank position. Inhale, lift the hips, press into all 10, ten fingers, press into your hands. Finding your downward facing dog. Settling in. Release the left, the right leg back and long. Exhale, curl the knee into the chest as you step forward. Press into the right foot. This is where you may want to use your block. We're going to go into the triangle position. Inhale, straighten the front leg. Rotate the back heel down. So the, so the uh, back foot is bisected by a straight line from your front heel. Straighten through the front leg. Open through the hips as we did in warrior two to the side of your mat. Inhale the arms out. Arms are straight, legs are straight. Exhale, shift the hips back. And then move forward with your breath, bringing the front hand down to the shin the floor or to a block, pressing your bottom hand into wherever it's landing, reach the top hand away, and now just focus on rotating, stacking the, the shoulders over each other and rotating through the, through the torso as you lift and look up or to the side. Take two breaths here. Strong in the legs. With the next breath, allow the hand to flow down to the hip. Rotate forward, bring the hand to the mat. Both hands framing your foot. Lift the right leg and step back. Press back into your downward facing dog and pedal the feet out. Before we go to the left side, I want you to shift the torso forward. Hug the elbows into your body as you lower yourself 
to the mat. Press the tops of your feet away and inhale yourself up through Cobra. Tucking the chin, reaching the crown of the head forward. Gentle, uh, uh, very, very little weight in your hands, reaching the crown of the head forward and relaxing the shoulders. Take two breaths. As you exhale, begin to press into your hands, roll over the tops of the feet and press the hips back. Reach the left leg back and long. Exhale, curl the knee into your chest as you step the left foot forward. Set up your legs for your triangle pose on this side. Slight, keep, uh, slight angle in the right foot, both legs bent. I'm uh, sorry, both legs straight, excuse me. Finding yourself in the center of your stance. Inhale the, long, the arms out. Allow the shoulder blades to come down the back as you lift the chest. Exhale, shift the hips back. And then reach forward as you take your next breath and bring the, the left hand to the block, to your shin, to the mat. Stack the shoulders over one another. Notice if you're if you come forward at all, try to make an adjustment. Lower the hand, rotate through the torso and look up. Find that grounding with your lower left hand and then begin to expand and reach the right hand back up again. Press strongly into your legs, creating greater length for the, a base for greater length through your spine. Two more breaths here. Press and lift through your legs. Beautiful, allow the right, the top hand to come down to the hips, up your left hand to come up and press the torso up. Bring both legs, I'm sorry, bring all 10 toes facing in the same direction and come into uh, a wide angle stance. Before we do any movement here, I want you to press strongly into the outside edges of your feet again, both feet simultaneously. Feel that outside engagement with the legs. Inhale the arms together, interlace your fingers behind the back. First, allow the hands to dip down slightly as you open up through your chest. Exhale strong integrity through the core as you press into the sides of your feet and allow the torso to come forward. Take your time here. Use your breath. Press into those feet to lift the hips a little more and bring the hands up opening through the shoulders, allowing the head to hang and enjoying this inversion. Stay active in your legs, strong through the core. Imagine your torso waterfalling over the legs. Two more breaths. Release the hands, allow the head to hang heavy. Bring your left hand to the center of your gaze. And now bring the right hand, sweeping it up as you come into a twist, stacking shoulders, looking up or to the side, reaching up and feeling a stretch through the inner part of your left leg. One more breath. Exhale, reverse, bring the right hand to the center, sweep the left leg up, the left arm up, look up. On your next breath, allow both hands to come to center. Walk the hands up to the hips. Bring the torso up, bend the knees, and hop the feet together. Beautiful. Stand in mountain pose. Allow your hands uh, to be out to the side. Inhale, sweep the arms up. Look up. Exhale, fold. Inhale, lift, crown of the head coming into your flat back. Exhale, fold. 
press into your hands as you step back to find that high plank position. Either come through knees, chest, or chin, or hug the arms in and lower yourself to the mat. This time, allow yourself to come to the mat, lying on your, your belly. We're gonna take bow pose, strengthening for the back body. Forehead is on the mat, bend at both legs. If you um, can reach back with the left hand and grab the left ankle, reach back with the right hand and grab the right ankle, please do that or you can use a, a strap. If that's easier, probably not, but you could also do that. Bring that, your hands to the outsides of the ankles, flex the feet first, feel engagement through the tops of the, of the quads, and then bring the knees parallel with one another. As we go into the position, keep the knees parallel at all times. Think about lengthening through the spine and just lifting the chest by engaging through your back and then pressing with your legs, lifting the legs, and just exploring the, the complementary nature of this lift in the spine and the strength of your legs opening through the chest a little bit more. Stay with your breath. Keep the knees parallel. One more. Exhale, release the feet down to the mat. Bring the hands under your uh, forehead and rest your forehead there. And now just windshield wiper the legs back and forth, relaxing through your legs and releasing. Bring the hands, come to stillness and bring the hands under your chest, pressing yourself up, coming up to your knees and come to a seated position. Sitting in staff pose, find the, the hands beside the hips, finding that huge length from the base of your spine to the crown of your head, pressing and lifting. Inhale the arms up. Exhale, begin to fold forward any amount. Pause um, sort of midway and think about lengthening through the crown of the head a little bit more, focusing on lengthening rather than bringing yourself forward. Continue to fold, allowing hands to rest gently wherever they may find their landing spot. Could be your shins, could be the tops of the feet, or could be the um, outside edges. Notice what's happening with the round back, I mean, with your back, and try to avoid rounding the back. Extending the spine a little bit more as you gently press the chest forward, feeling a stretch through the hamstrings. And now explore coming forward any amount more using the strength of your arms as you draw the chest forward, keep the chin slightly tucked. Strong through the low back. One more breath. Exhale, begin to release and allow your hands to walk up the legs. Find your sit bones. I'm going to do our Navasana uh, boat pose. So gently come back onto the sit bones, allow both legs to float up. You can bend the knees any amount or straighten the legs. Allow the hands to come up and balance on the sit bones and take a moment to reset opening broad across the shoulder blades, lifting the hands up, reaching and turning the palms up, reaching the feet forward, finding that length in your spine, strength in your chest, press the feet forward. Let's take three more breaths.
One more. Inhale, draw the knees into the chest and come forward. Allow yourself to roll back to your back. Gently roll back and forth. And then place the feet on the floor. So the feet on the floor. Uh, feet are parallel. Knees are hips width distance apart. Uh, if you have a block at home, you can also place a block between your knees to remind yourself to engage the inner parts of your legs. Take a big breath, press into all four corners of your feet and press the hips up. Coming into Setsu Bandhasana or bridge pose, you can bring the hands together and then find the outside edges of the shoulders using your breath to find a little more height. Stamping both feet strongly into the mat, keeping the, the, the work and the pressure in the, the soles of your feet and the, fore, the backs of your forearms pressing up and lifting. Exhale, allow yourself to roll down one vertebra at a time. Remove the block. We're going to take a variation on this next round. So, uh, and we're going to come into a one-legged bridge. If um, you have any concerns about the low back or uh, um, uh, stability, uh, please just go with the routine, uh, with the regular two-footed um, bridge. If you feel you have the strength to um, to come to the one-legged, then the, let's let's try that. Press into both feet and lift the hips. This time, bring the hands open. Press into the backs of the arms as you lift through the hips. Find that steadiness on the left side, pressing into your left foot. And carefully raise the right foot, drawing the knee to the chest. Your um, hips will want to rock down to the right side. Use the strength of your arms and the core to keep the hips level. On your next breath, Lengthen the right foot up, right leg up and extend. Press into your hands, lift through the hips. Imagine your left heel floating up and drawing the right hip with it. Staying level. One more breath. Exhale, bend at the knee. Allow the right foot to come down and reset. Try the other side. Press into the right foot. Inhale the left knee into the chest, flexing through your foot. Stay here or on your exhale, extend the left heel up to the ceiling. Press into your arms. Reach the left heel up. Take three more breaths here. Press into that right side. One more breath. Begin to bend at the left knee. Press both feet into the mat. Lift the hips. Press into your arms. Find that maximum length. Big exhale as you begin to roll down one vertebra at a time. Take your time. Excellent job. Bring both knees into the chest and rock side to side. Gain a little momentum by rocking back and forth and come up to a seated position. Roll through your hip. Come back to a tabletop position. We're going to find our last downward facing dog and then go into a pigeon pose. Um, and this is something, if you're having any issues with sciatica or uh, nerve issues, uh, in your legs. You can always take the alternative, which is lying on your back, creating a figure four, drawing both legs towards your body using your breath, or come through downward facing dog and come into um, pigeon on the front side of the body. Let's go ahead and, and uh, I'll demonstrate that. Press into both of your feet and your hands, lift your hips and find the length of your downward facing dog.
Inhale the right leg up and back. Exhale, draw the right knee forward. Gradually shift the body weight forward and bring the right knee behind the right wrist. Chin is uh, at a slight angle to the front of the mat. And then allow the left leg to press back, finding the top of the left foot on the, the floor behind you. Take a moment, reset the hands, and first think about lengthening through the spine um, at, as much as you can. Draw the chest forward as we did in Sphinx. Press into your hands and lift. Feel free to stay here. And feel free to bring um, a block or um, any uh, uh, a blanket under the hip if it's not making contact with the floor. Extend up and then exhale, fold forward over your leg, making a little pillow for your head and allowing the head to rest there. Returning to that focus on the breath, drawing in peace and relaxation, and exhaling, letting everything go. One more big breath. Beautiful, and then press into your forearms and allow the forehead to come up. Option here to um, press through your hands, then through the left knee, and reach the left heel towards the glute for a stretch through the front hip flexor of the left leg. You can also reach behind with the left hand and gently uh, clasp the left ankle as we did in bow and draw it a little closer to the glute. Lifting the chest, drawing it closer to your glute heel and then lifting the chin up and breathing. Exhale, release. Place the, uh, press into your left foot, your left toes, and lift the hips. Create space and draw the right leg back. Coming into a downward facing dog, pressing into your hands, allowing the head to hang, lifting the hips and feeling the difference in the right side, right hip. Press into your right foot, reach the left foot back and long. Exhale, curl that knee into your chest as you shift and come forward, placing the knee behind the left wrist. Reach the right leg back. Find the top of the foot on the floor of the mat and press your chest up, finding that length. Exhale, walk the hands forward, create a little pillow, one hand over the other, or come to a block and allow your forehead to come to rest. Relax your shoulders. Three big rounds of breath here. Drawing in energy, focus, letting go, fatigue, worry, tension. Two more rounds. Begin to press into your forearms and lift the crown of the head. Press into your hands and lift the chest. Bend into that right knee and draw the, the heel towards your glute. If you feel uh, you can reach back with the right hand safely, reach for that, left, that right ankle and gently draw the, the heel towards the glute as you open up through the right shoulder and the right chest. Take two breaths. Allow your foot to come to the floor. Create space. Press up, lift the hips. Extend both legs. Reach the legs back long. Press back. Exhale, come to your knees. Swing the legs around and come to 
uh, a seated position with the legs reclined. Let's go ahead and come into our final relaxation pose, allowing yourself to roll down. You can use the arms, rolling down one vertebra at a time, bringing the hands out alongside the body, allowing the feet to splay apart from one another. Beginning to find again that focus on your breath. Closing your eyes. We'll be here for about another minute or so. With your eyes closed and the focus on your breath. Begin to imagine a wave of relaxation beginning at your feet. Drawing it forward with your breath over the knees, over the tops of the legs. Feeling that heaviness, letting go with the legs. And now focusing on your hands, and your forearms, and your biceps, completely relaxing, settling more deeply into the mat. Using the breath to draw that wave of relaxation over both arms, over both hands. Drawing like a blanket up over the torso, up to your chin, relaxing the neck. Finally, bring awareness to your face, your eyes, your brow, breathing in space and relaxation across all the features of your face and feeling a deep sense of contentment and relaxation from the tips of your toes, the tips of your fingers, throughout the whole body, all the way up to the top of your head. Stay with your breath. and exhale. And then gradually beginning to bring some movement back into the fingers and the toes, gently moving the toes and the fingers, maybe sweeping your arms up over your head and taking a big full body stretch, finding that length, Exhaling, drawing the knees into the chest and wrapping both arms around your knees and squeezing your legs into your chest. On your next breath, roll to one side and press up with the strength of your hands and arms. Come to a seated position. Sitting with a nice tall spine, bring the hands together to heart center. Close your eyes. I want to thank you for practicing with me today. And I hope you have a wonderful Emancipation Day, day bringing freedom to yourself and to others. The light within me honors the light within you. Namaste. Thank you for practicing with me today.